Greetings and salutation, everybody. I'm Dan the Wolfman, the Combat System.com, Focus Dojo MMA.com. I'm going to make it real, somewhat fast and easy. Oh my God, how to make Aikido somewhat functional? That's the question that blows up the internet. How to make Aikido somewhat functional? Okay? You can actually do it. It's real simple. All you got to do is add a little bit of pressure testing, how I'm going to describe at the end of classes. I actually went and to, went to a new keto school today. For the most part, I had um, a good time for the most part, and, and I enjoyed it. We'll see if I go back. Guys, I'm going to show video clips here of what I'm going to propose so you get an idea of what I'm talking about just in case you can't quite figure it out. And so it's kind of entertaining. All you got to do is do your hour, hour to 15 minute class like you usually would. Okay, all you got to do is do all your Aikido stuff. And then through simple pressure testing, you will make those things somewhat functional. I'm only going to recommend adding maybe five jujitsu techniques that should already be in the Daito Ru Aki jujitsu that Aikido comes from. Okay. It's simple. So you do your class. And okay, everyone get a sip water, get ready to go. And you're going to do 2 2 2 or 4 2 2. You're going to do four rounds of. Random grab defense training. Now, okay, do this. Now we're going to do Moroto Gary. We're going to do Kodogishi. We're going to go Nikyo. We're going to go Sankyo. We're going to go Shionagi. No, you're going to actually go live, but still role playing the um, Tori to Uki relationship. One guy is the attacker, one guy is the defender, but the attacker is going to attack you with any kind of random grab. And hopefully you're going to do this with two different partners. So you're going to defend two times and you're going to attack two times. So total four. But you're going to be an active defender two two-minute rounds. And that takes some energy. And yes, you should be sweating. And yes, you should be getting some cardio and muscular endurance out of this. Because that's good for health anyway. And that's part of what martial arts is about. Even when you're old like me and you can't do something totally hard, doing six two-minute rounds isn't going to be that bad. And two-minute rounds of attacking. So like eight two-minute rounds. So four rounds, you go two minute rounds, two as the attacker, hopefully you get to go with two different partners, two as the defender, random grab defense. They come up from behind, from the side, headlock, full Nelson, all this kind of stuff. I'll show you what that looks like in one second. Then you go two rounds of throw to sub, speed grappling. Your goal is to take the guy down using mostly your Aikido techniques, and God forbid if a couple judo leg sweep reaps happen. I don't have a problem with it being done in a keto like way the way I do a, a, a kung fu or a judo ko soto gaki and push the guy. All the good keto guys back in the day did judo anyway. They were already judo black belts. Okay? All of them, almost. So, throw to sub, your goal is to hopefully pull off your cool Aikido stuff and get your uh, Ikkyo pin, get your Nikkyo pin, um, get your pins and controls, but to the tap, so you're going to get a submission. For about 10 to 15 seconds, you continue on the ground, or you get control, a dominant top control position, which is, you know, hopefully face down Ikkyo, but a lot of times it's not. So, in real, you find out you go to neon chest, you go to double knee ride, Things of that nature. So, two rounds of that each, because both guys are actually going live against each other. That's true pressure testing. And, or sparring. And then, or randori. And then, um, or you make it four rounds instead, because I think a lot of keto people will not like. The last two rounds, I think, should be grappling, starting in a top position. You say, top guy, bot, t top guy, top guard, top guy, half guard, top guy, side mount side top turtle whatever you start one guy on top one guy on bottom do aikido guys have to learn completely brazilian jiu-jitsu and be awesome at grappling no but your point is to try and get them good enough that it is a functional martial art and that they can decently defend themselves against an aggressive thug that doesn't have training but has some actual Street fights and knows about the pressure and chaos and pure aggressiveness of a street fight. Hopefully you can functionalize up to that level. 
So let's start with the first part, which is random grab defense. And I'll show you a video I have on the internet you can find, because it's actually, I say come at me hard. This guy's basically a yeah, beginner, so but so it's boring. a young uh, military guy. So this is what I currently name it. Keto Invisible Jiu-Jitsu Stemo Pressure Testing Street Grab Self-Defense. I got two minutes left. Okay, we're just grabbing any way you can. Right away, grab, 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 all kinds of different grabs. Totally random. I don't get to decide why I'm going to do this answer to this attack. <laughs> Krav Maga. <coughs> Aikido. True Aikido. Takemusu Aki. Just free flow. I have another longer video, like six minute video with a six foot four, 240 pound uh, blue belt, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu blue belt firefighter. That you might want to look if you like this. I think Brazilian Jiu Jitsu people should also be doing this. This is the real Gracie Jiu Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu self defense stuff. Now that's some real stuff there. Look at that, I'm intercepting him, coming in, grabbing his head. Hopefully, you realize what kind of higher level that was. Totally random. And so you're breathing, you're starting to sweat. You're, this this puts in your um, kind of synopsis and brain how to just function. He grabbed me weird there. He did an under grab on the arm, so it looked kind of strange here. Couldn't answer with some specific technique because he had one over and one under on the wrist. Something like that. I think he had like, like a baseball grip, I guess. I'm kind of playing here because I'm seeing that I perfectly have his balance where I can break his balance point right there. But even even Aikido that is masters of grab defense, are they really? Because they just have memorized techniques when told to do what technique to what attack. That doesn't mean it's functionalized. This is how you functionalize all that cool stuff you spent the hour before doing, and you might be able to try something or find out what works or how to make a variance based on body types and if the grip's slightly different, etc. and so forth. So guys, um, that's that. Now, what about, okay, now we go to speed grappling, where both guys are grappling live. Now, I'm not saying it necessarily should turn into, I'm not saying it should necessarily turn into, like, just wrestling and doubles and singles, though I don't think learning how to sprawl and frame a neck is that bad. Look at my system uh, takedown defense, amazing system takedown defense videos. Um, but... This is just, it's not exactly what I have in mind, but let's give you an idea. It's me going with a 250 pound, bigger um, karate guy, I think Shotokan. Um, and uh, there's a Kota Gaishi. I'm just using this because I know it started with Kota uh, I think there's a jack in the box coming on in a second. But why not grapple? Well, that's not a keto. Well, really, actually, it kind of is. I'm using strong spinal structure of mine to break his structure, and then I did vibrations in his spine. I call it Jack in the Box to take him down. That was a Dan Severn technique. Rarely will you ever see that standing. The jaw popper. I'm just giving you some footage here, but this is like a minute and a half, so you get like an idea, okay? You're sweating, and both are going. You know, both both are attacking. Hopefully you be attacking me, you know, and whatnot too. You know, Ashi Bryaxon, but using the shoulder there to, to block the takedown attempt, so you are now using a little body. Here I'm kind of trying to show you concept of Pinocchio, no strings on me. This is what women should learn, and kids, for um, self-defense, how to be Pinocchio. No strings of me to not get abducted, carried, put in the back trunk of a car kind of thing. And just a little bit of vibrations of the neck of Jackson box didn't work totally there, but got him to give up on our tech. So, so throw to sub, some speed grappling. Then you do that for two rounds or maybe four rounds if they won't do grappling on the ground. But I think grappling on the ground is important, though with the keto grappling for self-defense. Um, get ups back to your feet, escaping, like pushing the guy, kicking the guy off, underhooking out the back door, whatever, and getting back, doing your get-ups. Look at my seven or eight get-ups video, eight get-ups for MMA video. Um, you, you know, that should be, and then hurry up, okay, get back down. Practice, practice, and you're, you're finishing 
how with a heavy guy on top of you, you know, at the at the end of your class, and that's good. The exercise part is needed. Um, so I'll show you, you. I'm sure you're all familiar with grappling, but I'll just show some grappling highlights. This is just randomly just quickly pick this from my uh, catch wrestling rare subs hit live around the world versus many fighters highlight number eight. Uh, I think it starts here with a baby arm bar at some jujitsu school. Most people don't know this lock. After you run with it in the pot up, they roll through. You hit the baby arm, baby arm bar. Uh, some kind of deep half or electric tear thing coming up, I'm thinking. And I really prepared this video, guys. It's getting late. Okay, so now I'm going with the judo guy, and this is kind of the thing you should see in the earlier throw to sub starting from the feet. But I wanted to show you this. There's an elbow crank with a head tilt takedown. This guy's done judo like 32, 33 years of his life. Trains with two-time Olympian, Olympian Koda. That's whose school he trains at for years. So just what some grappling looks like. So I'm on top. The keto guy should be on bottom. So in order to do this, what do they need? You just got to add five, five techniques to the curriculum. An arm bar. An arm bar from top, an arm bar from guard. Cross arm bar. You got to learn um, rear naked choke. You got to learn a guillotine. You, you got to learn a top wrist lock from side mount and a kimura double wrist lock. That's all. That's all you really need to know how to grapple to be able to defend yourself, really, against untrained people. I mean, hopefully you don't run into an NCAA champ wrestler. Or even a guy like this that's, like, been a black belt for 30 years in judo. Um, I mean, this guy has some skills. When people watch my videos and they go, well, you know, those guys are beginners. No, a lot of people in my videos are not beginners. They're combat wrestling champions, judo champions, Brazilian jiu-jitsu purple and brown belts. Or they're pro MMA fighters that are also black belts in judo and purple belts in jiu-jitsu. So just grappling. Now, I wouldn't be starting on the feet. You would do that in the earlier round. But starting on top, starting on bottom. You know, you start on top for two minutes, and then you've got the same partner, and you switch to bottom. That's it. Just get six to eight good minutes. Uh, six to eight good rounds of two minutes. So, like, 16 minutes of grappling. There'll be some breaks in between. It'll probably be add up to, like, 23, 24 minutes at the end of the class. So you teach for a little, an hour and go a little over like you usually do. You actually get some work out at the end of class. Um, oh, here's a traditional jiu-jitsu technique of jujinagi. Attempting the jujinagi pretzel twist. I can't quite tie the knot belt, I call it, and get his arms deep across. People laugh at this mission. I'm actually pretty good at it. But again, this guy is no beginner. And he's bringing his legs up, making things difficult for me. So what do I do? And I'll probably end on this. Trying to get more leverage. Almost get it. Can't quite. Oh, my God. It's almost there. Can't quite. Well, okay, I'll use it as a setup for something else. That's why even a lot of rare locks people think are those percentage. I actually get a lot of people with that. Oh, there you go. Juju gets on it. Iron bar. So. Uh, let's see what I do here. I think it's just... Maybe I'll stop it. So anyway, guys, it's not that difficult to functionalize the keto. You just have to do... Some pressure testing. Oh, I think I just show some flow here. Yeah, I think I can move soft too. Oh, there is a little weird arm right there, but I'm just playing with it. Oh, yeah, let's watch this one more second. I think I go into a Kudo G in the Bell Udi Grammy lock there. Yep. And then this is with a Pancrase Fighter. Guys, look at, I make out 10 of these highlight videos. Um, he was a Pancrase uh, champion. King Pancrase got him with the lateral drop. Really good guy. I mean, he could do some good stuff to me grappling too. And MMA too. Sometimes he could out hustle me. Yeah, uh, well, two man punch to a single leg. Oh, and same guy. And I'll end on this. Kind of a butterfly left to a dummy back heel sweep, I guess you'd call it. Um, but ranges of combat, okay? So, it isn't that hard, guys. Listen to me. Just do it. Some of keto schools just do it. Oh, we got to officially end class and then invite some people. Fine. Do it. 
with your higher rank people, videotape it, send it to me. If you got some awesome looking stuff, I'll put it on my channel. Let's functionalize it. It's not that difficult. I'm not saying you have to make it look like wrestling or make it look like jujitsu, but the roots are in jujitsu, jujitsu. Okay? And so I think it'll be hard to convince people to start on the ground. Well, that's fine. I think I. Like, I even asked this guy what he would think that the keto school of the day that's done a keto 30 years. And at first, he was kind of okay with it. And then he was like, and then I think maybe he got in his head that I was like making wrestling. He's like, well, as long as it's like keto techniques, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't, the goal is not there to be doing doubles and single legs. But the goal, I think judo kind of is included. But the goal should be trying to get your locks, as I often do, and the elbow cranks and the head tilts. That's should be that's good martial arts okay so guys that's what i recommend i hope you like this video thumbs up share subscribe and all that and let's functionalize aikido and see if that can help out people that try to rely on it for defending themselves or people that are brainwashed and think that they're fine with no pressure testing no sparring which some might be somewhat okay but that's because they did judo before they did jujitsu before or they're a cop or a bouncer where they get to actually pressure ties in a live setting like myself that got so good at a couple locks because i was bouncing um but most people there's a yeah they don't want them like let's get them to a level let's get all martial arts to a level where it's actually martial so they could defend themselves at least well in a one-on-one -on -one fight against un an untrained person that's used to violence Okay, that's the goal of all martial arts. Let's at least get there. That's a very low bar, and yet we got to get some martial arts to there. Now, I ain't on a keto. I went to it tonight. I'm going to continue doing it. I like it. I want to find the guys that were really good. Unfortunately, most of them are dead because those guys trained friggin' hard with Ueshiba way back in the day in kind of a closed setting, and they were all judo black belts or Shotokan black belts or masters of kendo or kenjutsu and stuff before that. So, and they trained really hard. If they train like six guys in a room and there was bloody noses and black eyes. That's not what you saw post death, post flower power 70s and switching it to like Aiki Kai flower power. So let's try and get it back to functionalize. You have an Aikido school? Try these out. Try it out. Please try it out. Let me know. All right. Thanks, guys.